Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with some fun Brutus Monroe products. So I have this mixed media stencil that is called Coral Reef. It's super awesome. I've got some chroma glazes. I want to do something fun with that. And then of course I have the Underwater Friends stamp set to go with the Coral Reef. Can't have your Coral Reef without your Underwater Friends to go with it, right? So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, you know how every once in a while you have a really great idea and you impress yourself? This is one of those times. I really love how this turned out. Um, it, I'm, I'm sure that this kind of project is not for everyone, and that's fine. Uh, but I do hope that something on here inspires you enough that you will want to create some sort of fun underwater scene as well. So I am taking the stencil here and I have it down on some clear acetate and I'm using chroma glaze on there. Um, I did that uh, with the coral chroma glaze. I thought it was great uh, using a coral color, coral colored chroma glaze, say that five times fast, uh, with a coral stencil. So now I'm using uh, the green chroma glaze uh, also. And I am putting that down here on my background paper. Now I am making an eight and a half by 11 layout. And I will tell you the only reason why I am making an eight and a half by 11 layout is because that's the size of the acetate I have. And if I had a 12 by 12 sheet of acetate, I would be making a 12 by 12 paper. Um, the good thing is uh, that I do enjoy adding in other sizes to my albums. Um, I think it adds uh, interest and like there's a visual, there's a visual tactile plus is what was what I think of. Um, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and get uh, those corals down. So it is on the entire bottom of the sheet. And as you can see, uh, the chroma glaze does dry a little bit darker. Uh, it's over there on the left hand uh, corner of the screen. So now I am going to take my chroma mists and color in all of the stamped images that I did. And I use an acrylic block to put some of the chroma mist down onto, um, I use the acrylic, <laughs> whoa, I like lost what I was saying. Anyway, I use the acrylic block uh, to put some of the chroma mist down um, and then that way I can add some water or I can add another chroma mist color and come up with variations of the standard color of chroma mist. Now this is one of my favorite things about the chroma mists is that they do blend beautifully together and uh, it's really, really fun. So these photos are of Ariel and some more of the uh, sea creatures that live under the sea with her. Um, this is in the journey of the Little Mermaid ride and um, my printer printed them a little bit funky like the photos are a little bit funky but I love the effect of it and I think it kind of blends in pretty well with the whole under the sea theme that I've got going on. So I'm just working with it. So I've got my acetate down and I have that on top of um, the green coral. So I have the, the coral coral <laughs> up on acetate and the green coral coral uh, below. So now I am just um, adding in the seaweeds and the shells and the fishes that I went ahead and fussy cut out. Now the Underwater Friends stamp set does have a coordinating die set so you don't have to spend the time fussy cutting uh, all of the images. Um, however, if you don't want to spend the money on the die set, they are not uh, terrible images to fussy cut out. Um, unless you absolutely abhor fussy cutting, then you're going to want to get the dies no matter what. <laughs> now I am just figuring out where these little guys are going to live and what uh, needs to go down on my layout and where. So now that I have everything adhered to the top layer of acetate, 
what I can do is grab uh, some foam and go ahead and pop this bad boy up. So I'm just using uh, regular old craft foam and this is fun foam because it has adhesive on one side. Um, I am a converted fun foam user. I used to exclusively use unfun foam. Uh, which is foam that has no adhesive. I would add my e adhesive to both. Um, but one of my really good friends named Crystal uh, turned me on to fun foam. So I am just putting all of the fun foam on to the back of where my papers and things are. Um, that way you're not going to be able to see any of the adhesive uh, from if you're looking down at the acetate, you won't see the adhesive. So I go ahead and uh, pop the entire layer of acetate up on my paper. And what that does is it gives the coral a very 3D effect. And I love, love, love that it turned out this way. Now I am going to use these little acrylic uh, dew drops uh, type things. They are from Brutus Monroe as well. They come in a rainbow pack of six colors, and I love these guys, like, so much. So I go ahead and uh, adhere them down with some liquid glue. Um, the liquid glue does dry clear, so I don't have to worry about uh, if there's any kind of little, like, glue seepage. I'm grabbing some letter stickers from my stash, and I am entitling this under the C. So I go ahead and get that uh, down, and then I've got to find some other little alphabets uh, to spell out the word the, because under C isn't enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down, and then this is going to do it for this layout, you guys. I absolutely adore how this turned out. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've played with acetate. Uh, and if you think that this is a project that you might like to do, I just think it is flipping cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you again real soon for another video.